Hi everyone, so I just got delivery of a new uh, fan. This is a Noctua 80mm uh, plastic uh, PC cooling fan. This is for a project I'm doing outside, uh, which is to cool down uh, or extract air from uh, an electrical enclosure. So I bought the Noctua just because of its reputation for high quality. I've not had one before, so I thought I'd test it and see whether uh, the quality lives up to uh, the reputation or the hype. So um, I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing. Oh, this is a five volt version. A lot of these are 12 and 24 volts. I bought a five volt because I want to run this off of a USB uh, power supply, which I've got in the outside cabinet. Uh, so this comes with a, um, a USB extension lead, so it makes it nice and convenient. So um, let's just open up the box so nicely packaged as you can see um, fan inside and you can see a few other accessories in there as well let's just go through the spec quickly I'm not sure if you can see that on here uh, is that focusing yep I think it is so rotation speed is uh, 2200 rpm airflow uh, it will uh, remove or push through 55 and a half cubic meters per hour and one of the things I do like about it is the noise level it's only 17.7 dB uh, which I think is, is brilliant and then also if you look just there this is another reason why I wanted it it's uh, only a quarter of a watt uh, to run so this thing's going to be on for quite a few hours uh, each day so power consumption is good runs off 5 volts so that's perfect for the USB but also if you look there the uh, mean time between failure is 150,000 hours and if you look on here I don't think yep, yep there's a six year manufacturer's warranty so hopefully if this runs and does its job it's going to do it for quite some time so let's just open this thing up and have a little look see what we get inside so there we go, plastic wrap as you can see, just take the fan out, there's a few accessories there first, let's take those out, get that back in camera shot, so just an extension lead here, uh, what have we got there, oh there's the USB adapter, so that takes that to a full size USB, and then there's the fan itself, so let's take that out. So uh, typical Noctua, I think they do a black version as well. Um, this is the two color brown. Um, you can see as well, I don't know if you can see that, but on those fans, there's some little ridges they've got on there. And then also on the inner casing, you can see there's some little markings on there. And that's all to do with the airflow. So according to the pack or packaging here, you can see they've got like a before and after uh, airflow. So uh, they say that the ridges on the fan increases flow acceleration and then you also get better laminar flow. So anyway, we'll wait and see if that works. So let's just have a quick look at the dimensions. It's 80 mil, so it should be no surprise that this is 80 mil square, which it is. And then the thickness is 25 or 24 and a half millimeters thick. And then I suppose standard will be 70 mil or 71 mil, I think is the standard uh, for the distance between centers for the holes. And that'll be the same on both yeah just about 71 millimeters what I quite like about this um, Noctua say that their fans are incredibly quiet uh, and you can see they've gone to some level of detail to try and stop that so at the mounting points that would mount into a PC fan case for example they've got this soft rubber insert so any screws would first go to rubber before it goes onto the case they also have got metal uh, bearing race in here and there's also uh, as I understand a magnet which is um, mounted close to the central axle which keeps it much more stable uh, when it runs uh, so um, let's just switch this on in a minute to see how quiet it is uh, let's just see what else is in the box so there's some mounting screws there just normal standard case mounting fans and then you've got here um, their what they call acoustic technology <laughs> essentially it's just a soft rubber grommet so this bit would go in the case and then you'd pull it through 
into these holes so you get a nice rubber mount which I'm not going to be able to use for my particular application uh, otherwise I would have done but I don't expect this to be noisy anyway so let's connect this up to the uh, the USB connector and then I'll put it into a battery pack just to see how quiet it is uh, let's get this off first of all so there we go so if I just connect this to this USB adapter so that should just go on there so I'll rest that on the box I'll take it off because it's likely going to make a noise I've just got a 5 volt power bank here so just for the purposes of testing it let's just plug that in oh wow yeah that is really quiet so if it's on the box obviously it makes a little bit more noise don't know if you can hear that lift it off that's incredibly quiet and that really is pushing the air I can feel that so incredibly quiet I'll get that really close to the microphone there's a real gentle hum there I had a cheap desktop um, USB fan that I was using in the outside cabinet just to check and that thing was incredibly noisy so this is uh, living up to expectations so far the build quality seems good it's nice and quiet um, it's got the rubber mounts on it so hopefully when I've got this in the outside enclosure I can't really hear any external noise let's just disconnect that from the power supply there we go and that continues running for a bit the bearings are really good so anyway yeah that's just a quick unboxing nice neat looking fan the build quality does feel very good obviously uh, the test will be in the uh, using so I'll install this probably tomorrow now in the outside cabinet and I'll do a review uh, once it's all installed anyway I hope you enjoyed that unboxing if you do please consider subscribing or maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in future videos Take care, everybody.